The Mi soundbar is here. It's amazing. It sounds fantastic. No arguments. But there's something else you need to know before deciding whether to purchase this or not. A little bit of my perspective here. So hear me out. Before we jump into the review, I'll quickly show you the setup process. That is how to uh, connect the soundbar to your phone or TV or computer. So introduction time, my name is Ashwin Sundar. This is Technology Jock. Kindly subscribe to the channel and more importantly, hit the bell icon after that. You'll be notified whenever Technology Jock comes up with a quality tech video. So the setup process is extremely easy. Xiaomi says it's, it can be done in just 30 seconds. First connect the power plug. It's five feet long. Guess it's sufficient for most of you. The soundbar comes with a coaxial cable. So if your TV has an SPDIF port, then that's the easiest way. If you want to connect it to your PC though, then you might need an aux cable or a Toslink cable. Unfortunately, neither of them is included in the box. So I'll leave Amazon links to some good aux cables and Toslink cables in the description. Check them out and order one if you decide to buy the soundbar so that by the time your soundbar arrives, you'll have the cable as well. So again, it's just straightforward. Connect one end to the soundbar and other end to your PC or smartphone. If you have one of those old TVs, which only have RCA jacks, you know, those red, white, yellow ports, surprisingly, the Mi soundbar supports those as well. Once the wires are connected, you just need to press the input button accordingly. Here I used an aux cable, so I'm pressing the aux button and that's it. Alternatively, you could also connect the soundbar to your device via Bluetooth. The pairing process is simple. First press the Bluetooth button here and on your device, turn on Bluetooth and select the Mi soundbar. That's it. Now guys, keep in mind that using a Toslink cable will give you the best audio quality. Coaxial cable is also almost as good. You won't really find much of a difference in clarity. The soundbar itself looks and feels very premium. The matte white finish is super elegant and the grey fabric mesh on the front complements the overall look and feel of the soundbar. If you don't like placing it on a table or if you don't have a table at all, no worries, Xiaomi has included wall mounting accessories in the box. Now behind the grey mesh, there are eight speaker drivers. Four of them are for bass, two of them for treble and two of them for a wider frequency range. Everything from bass to treble. And guys, the audio is unbelievably crisp and clear. Let me explain each and every use case scenario. First, movies and TV series. I watched a couple of Black Mirror episodes on Netflix. I could hear all the dialogues very clearly. Even with some background music in the show, the dialogues didn't feel like they were muffled at all. Next, music. I used Bluetooth and aux cable for the most part, and the soundbar is excellent for music as well. I'm talking about movies and music separately because many sound systems are good at just one thing, either movies or music. Something that's good for music may not be good for movies, it may not be able to represent the dialogues accurately because too much bass will kind of affect the dialogues. And the vice versa is also true. That's why there are headphones specifically made for gaming. They won't be great for music, as in if you get a pair of gaming headphones for 10,000 rupees. They will be good for music, but they won't be as good as a regular pair of headphones that cost 10,000 rupees. And of course, gaming, gaming headphones also need a microphone, like that's a must. So yeah, the Mi soundbar is really good for both music and movies, but for people who want too much bass, this may not be an ideal option. Don't get me wrong, the bass is good, it's adequate, it's not overpowering, but some people prefer overpowering bass, bass that rattles the walls. So that kind of bass can't be expected from this, mainly because it doesn't have a dedicated subwoofer. So yeah, it's awesome that Xiaomi has brought this thing to India. They've got so many cool products. Would you actually like to see, see them bring more of their products to India? Let me know in the comment section. Uh, I personally would love to see more of them. Okay, the video isn't over yet because there is still that one thing left that I wanted to tell you about in the beginning. One thing that you should consider before deciding whether to buy this or not. It's the loudness of the soundbar. It doesn't get very loud. Now, again, don't get me wrong. Uh, I'm not saying the quality is bad. The quality is excellent. Best in segment for sure. The sound is super crisp and deep. Quality and loudness are two different things. And this one doesn't get as loud as I initially expected. 
I compared the sound with that of my Wu 75 inch TV, uh, my Logitech Z625 2.1 speakers and my Soundsticks 2.1 speakers and here's what I concluded. All three are much louder than the Mi soundbar, but are also more expensive. But guys, wait, we also need to understand soundbars cannot really be compared to PC speakers because, well, they are soundbars. They are meant for a different purpose. They've got less wires, they take up less space, uh, they are more aesthetic. A multiple speaker system at any price point will be better than a soundbar at the same price. So that comparison was actually just to give you an idea of the loudness of the soundbar, nothing else. So when I used it with my PC, I was sitting just two feet away from the soundbar and at full volume it was more than adequate for me. Maybe at times when you know you're in the mood to pump up the volume levels like when you're watching a Game of Thrones season finale or, uh, or an Avengers movie, those times it may be a bit disappointing and for use with TVs. That's a slightly bigger problem because you'll be sitting around 10 feet away from the soundbar and during those times you'll definitely wish the soundbar was slightly more louder than it actually is. So my conclusion, if you want loud, really loud audio, go for 2.1 speakers. At around the same price, there are three or four good options. I'll leave links to them in the description. Check them out if you're interested. But if you want a soundbar at this price, like it or not, there is nothing else that's better. This is one hell of a beast. If you want a soundbar with similar quality but louder audio, I think you'll have to spend at least 4000 rupees more and have a look at the JBL Bar Studio soundbar. To be honest, I haven't tried it, but I have the 5.1 version of the JBL Bar, so I kinda have an idea. Are you gonna go ahead and make this purchase? Let me know in the comment section. Hit thumbs up if you found this video useful. I try to be as elaborate as possible so that you guys can make an informed decision. So if you appreciate it, hit the subscribe button and more importantly, hit the bell icon to get notifications for more of these videos in future. Thanks a lot for watching. Ashwin Sundar from Technology Jock leaving for the moment. Have a nice day.